Hello everyone, I'm David with Softron, and today we're going to have a sneak peek at some new features coming to the Softron applications. But first we're going to talk about the Mac Mini M4 Pro, because there's some things about this that can potentially make it a huge game changer for us and for you. So let's dive right into that. So why this Mac Mini M4 Pro is so exciting is because on the back here, these are Thunderbolt 5 ports, not Thunderbolt 4. So that has a larger bandwidth, and that's really important when it comes to uncompressed video. So once we have a device by some manufacturer who has a Thunderbolt 5 connector, we can get that video through, and that's more video through to this Mac Mini. And it's really going to challenge something like the Mac Pro, which is still king right now. This will definitely be able to get at least half as much and at a fraction of the cost of the Mac Pro. So we're really excited about that. So until we have a Thunderbolt enclosure that has Thunderbolt 5, we can only do test results on Thunderbolt 4. So the Mac Mini M4 Pro, when hooked up with an actual SDI signal, was doing the same amount as the previous Mac Mini M2 Pro, because that's because we still had the same limitations. So six channels of 4K60 in ProRes HQ was possible, and it's still possible here. Now we do see an improvements in the HEVC performance, where we can get another channel that wasn't possible with the M2 Pro. So one other major change is there's no longer a USB-A port. That's very important for us because as you know, the dongles are still USB-A. So that's why we're happy to announce the new flip key dongle. It will have USB-C and USB-A. I know a lot of you will be happy that you will no longer need an adapter because you can plug it right in there. And the last thing I want to mention about the Mac Mini M4 Pro is our friends over at Sonnet have a sneak peek as well of what they're going to offer for this model. And so they have some pretty cool things and I'll put a link in the description. So that's enough about the hardware. Let's talk about the software. We have a lot of things that we've been working on and I'm sorry, that's why I haven't posted a video in a bit, but we have a sneak peek today on what we're doing. And a lot of this is available in the beta versions now. And the great news is everything I'm going about is already included and it's a free upgrade of all the applications. So let's start with Movie Recorder. Movie Recorder 4 will now have support for TSL5 tallies. This free new update will send the source name to your multi viewer. And when you start recording, it will highlight it red. And when you pause it, it will highlight it yellow. And stop, it will clear the tally. The TSL5 tally is available in Movie Recorder 4.6, and that's still in beta as of this video. Movie Recorder isn't the only one to get TS5. The other application has been requested many times, and that's Multicam Logger. Now we'll be able to get these markers from TSL5 into Multicam Logger to build your EDL. So I know a lot of you are gonna be very happy. So that is in Multicam Logger 2.3, that is in beta of this video, but you can go and try it now. We also have a number of new features for CG Server 3.7 and for dynamic graphics overlay in on-the-air video. First, text animations. Text animations can be updated without removing the background. Now the text element will animate on and you don't have to animate the background off and back in. If you want to give your viewers a beauty shot or show that a press conference is coming up but don't want the audio, that's very easy now as we've added a mute checkbox for the live source. In On The Air CG, you're now able to supply a base 64 image. So via the REST API, you can send your base 64 image in and populate it in On The Air CG. Interesting story about this next feature. Someone said, can we ac accept base 64 images? And when we said, why? It's because they wanted QR codes. And so we said, well, why don't we just add QR codes as a different feature? And so that's our next feature, QR codes. This is really easy because you can add the text of the link and it's going to generate the QR code for you. I think a lot of users are going to be really happy with this, especially those users who want to show a link to a story they just talked about or a product that they're showing. Now you just need the link, add it in there, and it's going to show up with it. And lastly, a feature that's been there for CG Server for a while, but not for dynamic graphics overlay, and that is the squeeze bags. 
squeeze backs are going to come to the on your video playout engine and i love the new look of this new window and how it's going to work and so i'm really excited to show how all these features work when we get closer to the actual release but again they're available now on the pre-release section in the beta of course always be careful with the beta and make sure you thoroughly test it but we think these features are going to be really cool and we couldn't wait to show you so make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can always go to softron.tv to learn more. Thanks for watching.